Please welcome Life Eric Sander, Charité Universitätsmedizin, Berlin. Staying alive, deconstructing live attenuated vaccines. Hey, good morning. I'm going to tell you about vaccines. Uh, one of the best public health interventions ever developed. Vaccines save millions of lives around the globe by preventing disease before they even occur, and that at a very reasonable cost. So vaccines uh, were developed centuries ago, uh, but strikingly, still today, uh, the most efficient vaccines that we have around are the ones, the earliest ones, the oldest vaccines around, so the live attenuated viruses. So these vaccines can induce lifelong protection in almost all persons uh, immunized upon a single immunization, which you cannot achieve with those more modern uh, non-live vaccine preparations. However, it's still unclear how those live vaccines do this and what sets them apart from those non-live vaccines. So, a number of years ago, we discovered that our immune system is capable of discriminating between a living and a dead microbe at the cellular level by, dis by detecting certain conserved molecules that are present on the viable microorganisms. A few years later, uh, we found that in the case of bacteria, this early recognition that um, the immune system is dealing with a living microbe uh, elicits uh, a series of events uh, that can uh, lead to a very robust and sustained immune response. Now, is this uh, some of the secrets that of the live vaccines? So now we're looking at the measles vaccines, arguably one of the best vaccines that we have, uh, as long as you vaccinate the, your kids, that is. Um, and what we wanted to do uh, was to take human antigen-presenting cells, so those cells that would first respond to the live vaccine, and uh, we looked at uh, different types of cells and then incubate them with either a living version of the measles vaccine or an inactivated version of the measles vaccine, which was shown back in the 60s doesn't work. And then we performed uh, side, uh, side seeks or single cell sequencing to look at um, viral transcripts along with the host transcripts in addition to the maturation status of the different cells. So, um, and what we found was that first of all, the different antigen presenting cells respond differentially to measles vaccines and we can also separate those. Those that respond to the living vaccine are very different than those that respond to the UV inactivated vaccine. And in <coughs> fact, those cells that have active viral replication, so they've taken up and been, been infected by the measles vaccine, have also a very different uh, host gene transcriptional response, which is uh, related to uh, activation of the adaptive immune system. And now, obviously, we want to do this in vaccinated people. And I'm going to leave you with this slide. And thank you very much for your attention. I'm happy to take your questions.